Okay, the Kingfisher image, uh, this is just to remind you um, uh, how to deal with an image with high noise. Uh, this was taken at ISO 5000, um, so in Lightroom, and the settings by the way are the exact same in Camera Raw, the default sharpening settings that we're going to look at. So first thing I would do with this is crop it. Um, and again, there's no right way and no wrong way to do this. Um, I'd probably put the uh, the Kingfisher on the left third um, and then you've got this sort of nice diagonal aspect um, with a wee bit of space for the bird to look into so go for something like that. Um, highlights we want to go down so I'm going down about 35 in highlights. You can see up here there's nothing blown out but we will try and bring back detail in this uh, bit of white feathering on the neck. Um, shadows we go up, um, so we've gone plus 55 on shadows, and blacks you can see um, we've got a wee tiny bit of blocked up shadow, um, so if I click on blacks and just click plus, there it took me to get to plus 10 for that to disappear, so there's plus 5 and it's still showing in there, another one press of the plus button and it's gone. Um, so the main thing for these high ISO images is to go into detail and these are the default settings for Lightroom and this is what's causing the worms. You know, there's the worms being caused there and it's caused by the detail slider. So we turn the detail off and we bring the radius down to, uh, if you bring it all the way to the bottom it's 0 0.5, I would suggest 0 0.6 or 0 0.7. The higher the ISO, then keep it to 0 0.5 or 0 0.6. If it's, say, ISO 1600, you might want to go to uh, 0 0.7, etc. Uh, this is only input sharpening, so we want to keep it at a relatively low amount. So, you know, in and around the 60, 70 mark. Um, and then it's the masking. Hold the Alt key and move the masking slider. And you want all this area here, out of focus background, to be masked out. Whenever it goes black, it's receiving no sharpening whatsoever. So um, at about 70 odd, that looks absolutely perfect. Um, so I'm now simply going to send that photo into Photoshop CC. And if we go Command 1 to zoom into 100%, you know, this is what I call nice uh, level of noise. Um, it's not. You haven't got the worms, and uh, you know it's not a distraction, etc. Um, so we're we're going to try and process the image and just leave that as is without any further sharpening whatsoever uh, to that part of the image. Uh, so dodge the highlight in the bird. Command J, go to the dodge tool, set to work on highlights. I have it at about thirty percent. So just a small brush, make the uh, the eye big in the frame. Small brush couple of passes, turn it off and on and then flatten image. As soon as you flatten image it's command J so we're going to try and deal with this highlight. It's not blown out as we know from the histogram but it could appear to be blown out um, so we want to just make sure we've detail coming back there. So Nick software Color FX Pro um, Remember that Detail Extractor deals with both shadow detail and highlight detail. When you're using it for uh, to recover highlight detail, so Detail Extractor, I tend to leave the uh, settings almost as is. Uh, I don't normally the only slider that I move is the contrast slider, um, but when I'm dealing with um, uh, recovering highlights I tend to leave it with the default settings. One thing to notice you know it does bring out your dust spots so there's one two three dust spots appearing but of course we're not going to be painting in those areas there's before and after um, and you can use this highlight protection slider we push that all the way up to sort of 80 85 um, and then click OK And as I turn this off and on, the only place that I'm concerned with is this bit of white feathering here. Off, 
on, off, on. So Alt and Mask, B for brush, and um, I'm going to paint uh, at 100% opacity and probably about 30% flow. So Shift 3 will give me 30% flow on this. Once you've done a wee bit of painting, turn it off and on. And you've done a super job there of bringing back that highlight detail. Uh, flatten image. <coughs> uh, vignette would help this, so just draw out the vignette. Select inverse, select modify feather, 400 pixels. Command C to copy, Command J to put it on a new layer, layer. Command L to bring up levels. Double click on the 1.00, shift and down arrow, down arrow. Turn it off and on. V7, 70%. Matter for you, flatten image. Uh, Command J, filter, next software, Color FX Pro. Uh, dark and light and center. So turn it off and on. So we're using brightness values to bring you into where you want the viewer to look. So V7, less is more, still does the job. Flatten image. Um, we could look at what the Velvia action does in terms of the colours. Uh, I don't think the orange needs any boost, but maybe some of the blues would benefit from a boost. So remember, this is the Vel Velvia with steroids. So um, Command I to... Um, uh, change the white mask to a black mask, B for brush, and I'm just going to paint over the blue feather just to enhance the uh, the blue feathers because I say I don't think that the uh, the orange need any uh, enhancement. Um, so if I just turn that off and on, you can see the difference there, just bringing back that lovely bit of colour. Uh, flatten image. So the last thing to do this is sharpen. So Command J, and we go into Filter Camera Raw Filter, and uh, we go into Sharpening. Uh, same idea. We turn the radius right down. Amount. This is output sharpening, so we go quite high. Um, and uh, detail off, and use the Alt on the mask. And just move that up to uh, uh, about 65, 70. Click OK. Turn it off and on. And that is perfect sharpening. There's the image ready for printing with absolutely no issue about noise. And it was taken at ISO 5000. So I hope that helps you process your nature images.